Hello, and welcome to a special May the 4th edition of Star Game Studio Unreal Engine 5 Tutorials. I have a quick and easy one for you that I know you will enjoy. We will program our own droid pet to follow us around the game. R2-D2 is included. Sit back and relax and have a great time. First things first, download the special May the 4th Be With You package from the website. The link is in the description. You can use any third person project. In your project, create a new folder and name it R2D2. Next, import the R2D2 model into the folder. We are using a Maya model that is fully compatible with Unreal Engine. This model is broken down into sections. Place the mesh parts in a separate folder if you wish, and the materials in another. I'm going to rename all of the parts of the droid mesh to make it easier to put together. You can name them however you want. Now create another folder in the R2D2 folder and name it Audio. Import the five audio sounds from the download package. Let's create a new character blueprint class. Even though our droid is a static mesh, we can use the character movement component in the blueprint. Go to the viewport and start by adding a static mesh. I wanna start with the body of the droid. It just seems like the most logical to build off of. Duplicate the static mesh and change it to the dome. Continue to add all of the parts of the droid until it is complete. We should change the transform of the droid mesh. Set the location Z or Z to negative 41. Set the rotation Z or Z to negative 90. The model is about two times too big, so set the scale to 0.5 across the board. Now we are ready to program it to follow the player. Drag the blueprint into the scene and make sure it sits right on the floor. Looks okay for what we need. Now go into Volumes and get a Nav Mesh Bounds Volume. Set the scale to 20, press P, and you see where the droid can go in the scene. Open the event graph from the R2D2 and create a custom event. Name this event Follow Player. We will use an AI Move 2 node 
to get the droid to follow. The pawn will be a reference to self. The target actor will be the player character, so get player character. On success, we can drop the follow player call to loop the event. Add the follow player event to the event begin play node. This will start the droid following the player. The droid is too close to the player. Set the acceptance radius to 100 to give it a bit of distance. That's much better. The movement of the droid is a bit jerky so let's turn off the rotation yaw in the class defaults. Now in the character movement component, set the orient rotation to movement. The droid should now move much smoother. I want to set the radius back another 50 units. The camera is clipping into it. That's better. Finally, let's add some of the iconic R2D2 chirps and tweets. From the event tick, drag a do once node off. Next, we will need a play sound 2D node. We will use a select node to house the five sounds we have and randomize them. Add the five sounds to the node by using the add pin button. We need options zero through four. From the index, get a random integer and range node. Set the min to zero and the max to three. Get a delay node and set it to a duration of about five seconds. From the completed pin, drag it to the reset pin. That's it, try it out. Awesome! Thank you for watching. I hope you found this valuable and enjoyable. Please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content.